اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم In this session, we are going to run multi-group analysis with constraints. In order to find out whether a relationship is significantly different in the two groups or not. Group analysis. A two-group analysis can see if differences exist in the relationship proposed in a model across groups. Performing a two-group analysis is very similar to the discussion about measurement invariance. Now, it's normally recommended if you are doing a group analysis, you conduct measurement invariance tests. The example going forward is a full structural model analysis, but exact same process can be utilized for a path model. After initially drawing out your model in AMOS, you can specify the two groups. In this case, we've got the example of male and female, and we are assessing the impact of ethical and authentic leadership behaviors on life satisfaction in male and female. Now, the model will be tested separately in male and female. And further, what we'll do is we will assess whether particular relationships are significantly different in the two groups or not. So first, what we need to do is we need to set up our groups. How to do this? Let's see. So we click here and let's add our first group, male, and our second group, female. Next step, we set up our data, click here, now the grouping variable is gender and the group value is male for male and for female add your data your grouping variable remains the same gender your grouping value is now two which is female press ok and now your model is set up with the data now the next step is we have to set up our multi-group analysis so we click here and just press ok and in here, leave as default, just press OK. Now look at this. The parameters have been named. Now what do we mean by these names? Look at this. This is B. This is A. So A is being used for factor loadings and B is used for structural relationships. Now look at this. Underscore 1, underscore 1, underscore 1. This is for the first group. If I click here, female. Look at this. Underscore 2, underscore 2, underscore 2 b1 underscore 2 so this is the second group now let's go back to our presentation for a moment now as we've seen you will use a and a number for factor loadings or rather amos will give it to you a and a number for factor loadings and this too signifies the second group whereas b will be for structural relationship now it is very important that every parameter has a unique name across the groups and this is what AMOS does for you. The measurement weights model in AMOS specially constrains all the factor loadings or parameters listed as an A. So the measurements, the factor loadings between the two groups are now constrained to be equal. The structural weights model constrains the factor loadings but also constrains the relationship. Now if you click the structural weights where are your structural weights? Have a look here. These are your measurement weights. Now they are constrained to be equal between the two groups. These are your structural weights. Look at this. If you click structural weights, these are your two structural weights constrained to be equal between the two groups. And these are your measurement weights along with your structural weights when you click structural weights. Now, why are they constrained to be equal? Because when we are checking measurement model invariance, we want the two groups to behave in a similar manner. Now, if we run the model now, let's run the model. And if we go to the output, and if we look at the estimates, here, click the estimates. And look at this, for male, the impact of behaving ethically on life satisfaction is significant. Is it significant for female? Yes, it's significant for female, but I'm not interested in separate assessment of significance in male and female. I want to assess whether this relationship here behaving ethically on life satisfaction, the difference of impact, is it significant? Is there a significant difference in how behaving ethically affects life satisfaction in female and how it affects in male? So 
I'm interested in assessing whether the impact is significantly different in both groups. Now, this is not possible here because I'm not getting any significance value for the difference of impact. Now, in order to do this, what I will need to do is I will need to create constraints. So what you need to do is you need to create a new constraint whereby you constrain the two relationships. Now, if we run the two group analysis, just as we did, this will tell us if male and female respondents are different as a whole. The analysis is examining all the relationships in the model across the groups. If we find differences in this model, it tells us only the groups are significantly different as a whole. It gives us no indication exactly where the models are different. You might have one relationship that is significantly different across the groups and all other relationships may be not significantly different. Hence, we need to draw a new model. Now, how do we draw the new model? You just need to create a new model like this. And if we click structural weights and we want to constraint behaving ethically and life satisfaction, this is B1 underscore one and B1 underscore two. You can just copy it from here, copy and click new. And let's say we name it constraint underscore one. Just paste your parameter constraints here and click close. Now you have created a new constraint. Now before we run this, let's go back to our presentation for a while. Now we have constrained the relationship as this. If we move on, a reason for constraint is that we would like to know that is this relationship significantly different across groups. Now the relationship, this one in male and this one in female, is it significantly different between the two groups? Now. Let's say we run our model. I want to know whether the significance of impact in male is significantly different from female. Is it? In order to do this, we'll go to model comparison. And look at this, constraint one. No, it's not significantly different. The way behaving ethically affects life satisfaction in male is same as it affects in female. So the relationships in both male and female are not significantly different because the p-value here is greater than 0 0.05. Now moving on, now the results for constraint one in the model were insignificant. Look at this, insignificant. And this shows that there are no significant differences in the impact of behaving ethically on life satisfaction in male as compared to female. Now that we know that the difference of impact is insignificant, but what if this was significant? We would further go and assess which relationship is stronger. Is it stronger in male or stronger in female? And for this, we would have gone to estimates. In the estimates, we would have gone for standardized regression weight to assess the strength of relationship. How do we do this? Go to estimates. And here, look at this. For female, it is 0.514. And for male, it was 0.521. Now, in this case, the difference is not significant, although it's higher in male, but the difference is insignificant. This way, we could have assessed which group has more significant impact of behaving ethically on life satisfaction. Moving on, there is a groups window on the left hand side here, and this can be clicked to find out the standardized regression weight for that particular group. Finally, this is a very good book if you want to know further about multi-group analysis. Thank you very much.